And thanks for joining us on CW30 at 9. I'm Brad Broders. Tonight, calls for change continues at Tennessee's Department of Children's Services. Recent reports of neglect, including children sleeping in offices or hospitals and staffing shortages at DCS, has some state lawmakers urging Governor Bill Lee take action and pump in more money. Now, a foster parent who works with DCS is joining that chorus for change. Stefan Reels joins us in the studio. Stefan, what's that parent's reaction? Well, Brad, that foster parent concedes quite simply, there's not enough help to go around at the moment. So with thousands of children without a home for the holiday season, both agencies and parents are asking for people to join the cause. Two decades ago, Anthony Johnson and his wife saw a need and answered the call when they opened their home to children as foster parents. 20 years later, we're still doing it. Every so often we have new family members. We got a new family member three years ago who we're about to adopt. Johnson said that need has only intensified over the years for more foster parents in Tennessee like him to answer that call. COVID did a number not just on foster parents because we lost a lot of good foster parents during COVID, but also on DCS staff. Without the proper staffing, according to a recent letter from some state lawmakers, some children in Tennessee DCS custody sleep in a hospital or on an office floor. Pulls on your heartstrings, uh, of course. 20 years been a foster parent. I've been in the DCS offices. Uh, they are not made to be living quarters. I know that the offices don't have showers. Um, they don't have places for hot food. And so those are just basic needs that we all need day to day that they're being deprived of. And those in need are growing. According to data, right now there are currently more than 8,500 children in state custody across Tennessee, including 1,300 in the Memphis area in need of a home. Other foster agencies, including Harmony Family Services, are also sounding the alarm. So we need homes. The specific needs include homes for teenagers, sibling groups, and even Spanish-speaking families. And just remember that you don't have to be perfect, but we just need you to be committed. Now, Johnson is asking for anyone who can find it in their heart to get involved or connect with an organization willing to help the DCS find additional housing. He's seen the rewards firsthand. You have the ability to change a child's life or the trajectory of their life by just connecting with them. Now to become a foster parent in Tennessee, here are the requirements. You just need to be at least 21 years old, go through a fingerprint and background check. It's also required to attend informational and training meetings along with documentation of income, a home study and a health exam. And you can start your journey to become a foster parent online. We have a number of links waiting for you on abc24.com slash now. Brad.